Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today I ran across this kind of picture of a tile and it really bothered me because um, as you can see here, we have these little corners, triangles here in the center, <laughs> not in the center, but on the sides that could have been done better. So what they should have been is edge to edge, you know, and not only is it kind of ugly, it's also a weak spot weak spot to have this little piece there so imagine like if if they were here you know you wouldn't really be stepping on them but because they're here this is very often where your feet are so this looks like a uh, square shower i would say about three by three uh, just off based off looking at it so let's go ahead and get right into it and show you how to fix this so if you're a tile guy and you're watching this video i highly recommend you learn cad uh, that's probably why you're watching this video anyways but i can guarantee you it'll come in handy uh, to plan ahead to take measurements uh, before you have to actually go out and do it. So let's start off by going into feet for the grid and let's make a rectangle here in the center. We can do three by three and then zoom in to work on that. So that's what I estimate that, that, estimate that shower to be. But let's go ahead and make our spout as well. That's gonna be in inches though. I assume it's about a four inch by four inch if it's that square one. So let's adjust those. And one major consideration when we're, when we're designing tiles, obviously, is the grout. So um, typically, as far as I'm aware, it's about a quarter inch or one eighth of an inch. Let's, let's stick to a quarter so that we have easier uh, an easier time calculating all that stuff. So let's go ahead and offset to make sure the loop, the loop function is on here and uh, select our outer edge and go off by 0.25 uh, for the outer grout there. And then 0.25 for this one as well. So 0.25 and 0.25. And then from this point, what we can do is go from this to the edge there of the tile. And uh, we technically don't need to do it again because we could just mirror. So transform mirror this one on the center axis, click done and then transform mirror do the same thing but click this right one twice and use this axis the x axis to duplicate it on the other side so now we have a nice shape and then for make sure you go back to the top plane and uh, for the center ones we can just go and draw outside the grid uh, that makes our job way easier uh, and as you can see we have a shape piled up already and next we have the tile that goes on the outside which is very easy we just draw it and match it to the line there at whatever point you want. So we have a 12 by 12, for example. We've already established a basic shape that we can work with. The only thing is now we have to account for the grout so we have the accurate sizes for our tile cuts, right? So what we can do here is if we select this sketch, make sure you select the square, we exit the sketch mode or usually, but let's try transform and move and then select our square. Usually when you exit sketch mode, it goes automatically to the move tool. But uh, let's go down by a, a good number to remember, which is 10. And then that way it's still there when we need it, but it's also not on the same plane. That way it's not in the way when we're gonna do this next step, which is something we have to do offset in the loop. Make sure you're in the loop, not the single. Then we select our piece and then go and offset this by 0.125, which is half of a quarter. And we do that to each of these sides. Uh, we chose the wrong one there. Let me redo that. Point, oh, one more time. Third time's the charm. Uh, so 0. 0.125. And then we need to do it here on this side, side as well. And we could obviously mirror this as well, but sometimes I find it easier to do it manually. So I had that 0. 0.25, now we need this. And then this is where you kind of delete the center lines because they're now in the way. So we select them and we get rid of them. Click delete. And then uh, after that, we can go in and kind of push those further in. So we're gonna get rid of them as well by using the trim tool. So go to trim, then uh, trim these edges here. Try to stay on the same plane. So we're gonna have to go back to the plane because I accidentally switched out, but delete these pieces that are in the way. also do this as well and then once we have this basic shape we can now go in 
and technically we should probably do this one let's just go ahead and do this so we have everything proper Hopefully we don't mess it up we just go out there and make our life a little bit easier less calculations to do use the trim tool just like we did before and if you mess up just go back to the trim because sometimes you click out of it and it deletes it and technically speaking you don't even need to trim this i'm just doing it to make it all pretty but technically you could just keep on moving on without having to trim it so i'm just doing this again to make it look good so you understand how and why it all comes out to be the same way it comes out to be okay so we're almost done and then click the outer edge as well so now you can see we have this piece and the reason for that is uh we can just mirror this over and as you can see that sketch behind it is not getting in the way otherwise it would and we can use the mirror tool and make sure you click that one one more time so it's blue as well and use the uh, y plane to mirror it over to the right side and technically we are almost done and ready to extrude but we can also do offset for this one tools offset to account for the grout here so 0.25 and then select this and then double click the outer line and move it back by 10 inches. And as you can see here, the tile is aligned here perfectly with, within the middle of the grout. Uh, so we have a, a nice transition there. And technically we can clean this up as well if you need that reference sketch for other projects. Or we can simply go ahead and select our tiles now and extrude them out. So select them all and extrude them out and typically I think it's half an inch so 0.5 and here we have a complete shower and as you can see every edge lines up not only is it beautiful there's also no weak points and you have technically if you click on any line here and you go down here you have the exact measurement of what you need to cut for whatever tile and not only that you also have the angle so here for example if we click these two lines that says two edges on the bottom it shows us how many degrees each line is not only the measurement but the degrees as well so this is extremely useful and for our own reference let's go ahead and select we can either select all of them or double click specific tiles that we want to work with let's change them to white and uh, the middle ones so let's go ahead and change them to black and technically like i said you can select all of them so we have only these left over right so we can select default material and change that to black directly so now you're basically done and as you can see not only do you have a visual to text your customer or email them you can technically i'll show you an additional bonus step which is extremely useful when you have an ipad you can go to the ar function and actually show them on site how it's going to look inside their shower let me go ahead and go to the right place and show you real quick so once we're located in the right area we click the ar and then we let the app take the measurements of the floor and we can adjust this as necessary. So this shower is obviously a little bit of a different size, but the, the point remains the same. So once we set it up, we can then go around and actually see how it would look like in real life. Okay, so this is a great tool for you uh, if you're trying to sell a new shower to a person, right? So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.